Longtime Macomb County Commissioner rear ends a parked police cruiser and it's all caught on dash cam video. Live from downtown Detroit, local 4 news at 11 starts now. Glad you're with us at 11 off the top tonight. Commissioner Don Brown admits to drinking alcohol the night he was arrested, but he's not facing charges of drunk driving. Sterling Heights police had pulled over another driver when Brown hit their cruiser from behind. Priya man joins us live from Mount Clemens and Priya, you spoke with Brown today. Yeah, and he's responsible. Uh, he's remorseful, says that he apologized to the officers involved. And tonight the commissioner for District 7 wants to apologize to his constituents. I feel really embarrassed. I mean, it's out of my character to have that happen. Macomb County Commissioner Don Brown is apologizing after having one too many and hitting a parked police car. It was still under the lower legal limit, but still it was a factor of being tired and alcohol was a factor, and I have to admit that. Dashcam video captured the moment Brown rear-ended the squad car. A Sterling Heights police officer sitting inside the vehicle had to be taken to the hospital for minor injuries. The longtime county commissioner struggled with a field sobriety test. To demonstrate it again for you? No. About two weeks ago, police were conducting a traffic stop on Mound Road near 18 and a half mile when Brown hit the car just after midnight. The police report indicates he blew a .07 below the legal limit, but within the threshold of impaired driving. Next one, why don't you take one step forward so you're not right down that uh, down slope there, okay? Next one, I'm going to have you do is pick either leg you want, okay? When I tell you to do so, I'm going to have you lift it off the ground like this, keep it parallel to the ground. Didn't realize I was tired and, and overtired and, you know, and alcohol, a couple of drinks even beforehand is a mistake, and I should have thought about that before I left. The father of four was charged with operating while visibly impaired. Don't do as I've done and let it be your lesson to everybody else that, you know, you're tired. You know, you better just stay put and uh, not make the same mistake I have. And the 54-year-old was released later that day once the alcohol wore off and he posted bond. Reporting live from Mount Clemens, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4.